Hello everyone, this is Bakari with Mac Automation Tips. In this video, I want to quickly kind of show you um, a little bit of the Apple's voice to text and dictation program, which has been in the Mac OS X for a couple of years now. Uh, but with El Capitan, I noticed that it's gotten a little bit better. Um, I don't think that it's as good as drag and dictate, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But um, it is very useful if you don't want to use drag and dictate or say you want to use this program on your laptop or something like that. Um, the dictate, Apple's dictation program can be very useful. Um, it sort of works like, pretty much like uh, Siri on the iPhone or, um, the, uh, iPad or the iPad. Um, it doesn't do quick searches like Siri, but you can do uh, voice to text uh, um, uh, dictation and you can also do Mac commands. So I'm going to show you how that works a little bit so in order to get to the program you're going to go to uh, system preferences and click on dictation and speech and uh, then you're going to go on dictation here and what you need to do first off is you need to, to select the mic so you can use the internal mic or you can use an external mic I use an external mic called table mic and the reason why I use it with drag and dictate is because it has a noise counseling feature which enables me to uh, play music in the background uh, while I'm doing uh, voice dictation or doing Mac uh, commands. Uh, whereas with the Apple's dictation program, what it does is it um, cuts off any audio that you have playing when you enable the program. So uh, when you enable the, uh, the dictation. So um, anyway, the table mic is great. You might want to try the, in, the internal mic. The closer the mic is to your to your mouth, or at least a good you know half a feet or what have you, um, is is good. But um, so to get that, so you have to kind of really pretty have it pretty close. Um, so now, what you want to do is you want to enable it, and you can enable this button called Use Enhanced Dictation, which means that it will give you live feedback as you do text to vo uh, voice to text dictation. If you um, if you don't enhance it. I think you would depend. You would need to use, be connected to the internet in order to use a dictation program. So when you enable this, it will download the, the uh, huge dictionary and put it on your system so that you can use the dictation program, um, you know, anywhere um, you like without having to be connected to the internet. And then the second thing is you want to give a um, use a set up a command to enable the dictation so you can use the. Um, the right or left uh, command key and maybe you know press it twice or you can create uh, a custom demand for yourself and do it that way so let's kind of give uh, I'm gonna kind of give you a little bit of an example of the uh, voice the text and how it works here so we'll pull this up I'm going to enable it this is an example of Apple's dictation program I'm going to cut it out there. So you saw that's an example of that. And, it, and it, again, uh, it does pretty well. Like Siri, when you dictate um, on Siri with Siri on the iPhone, um, it does pretty much the same thing. So this is a this is a useful uh, program for like if you want to do short text and mails or, or text message or uh, say, uh, you know, a, a comment box or what have you. I wouldn't use it for the entire um, uh, for, like trying to dictate entire documents or what have you because it doesn't have a, an ability, it's not as really strong in terms of editing what you um, dictate, you know, cutting out words and that kind of thing. So, for example, let me uh, show you the drag and dictate. This is an example of drag and dictates voice to text dictation period cache document delete capitalize dictates delete spacebar all right so now that's not the best example of drag and dictate in terms of disability but you see where I could I could edit um, that, uh, you know, edit some of the, the problems they were having. Then, um, basically what has happened here is 
I was dictating inside a non-supported application. For the most part, you can dictate in any application, but it works best in say applications like text edit or Microsoft Word or some you know web pages and that kind of thing. It works better there. So that's the reason why it had a few little problems there. But one thing about drag and dictate as well as Apple's voice to text uh, dictation is that it never misspells a word. It can misunderstand what you say and and, 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 and it can type something else, but it never um, misspells the word. So what, that really comes in handy. But you also notice that I could capitalize words. I can add um, uh, uh, um, uh, a punctuation. You can do the same thing in Apple's program as well, but you can't do it as efficiently um, as, as well in, in Drag and Dictate. So um, I, I would I would highly recommend uh, Drag and Dictate, even though the 5.0 version had some serious problems that they are trying to correct and and and. And, and give updates to I still recommend it I use it all the time I particularly use it for Mac voice commands so with the Apple program they also have it also has Mac voice commands which you might find really really handy and I'm going to show you how to use that <clears throat> so basically you want to go to text-to-speech click on open accessibility preferences Scroll down and click on Dictation, and then click on uh, Dictation Commands. And you notice that when you open it up, there's a lot of commands already built in for you. So go to the beginning, go to the beginning of the word, move to the left, move to the right, scroll up, scroll down, send that. Um, and this is probably like send the uh, a text message or send a mail, um, hide numbers. Uh, scroll preview up go back new tab which is probably like for that's useful in say Safari for example zoom in and zoom out so let's let's give it a let's give it a shot here I don't use it a lot but I haven't used it that much but I just want to kind of give you a demonstration of it so let's enable it new tab all right so you got a new tab there Let's go back to Mac Automation Tips. Zoom in. So now, so you notice that you can do those kind of commands. And so basically, you just kind of go through the commands and pick out some ones that you think you might use on, on, on a regular basis and just, you know, practice using them. And then the more you use them, the easier it gets to, to, to remember how to, uh, which commands work. Now, what you can do also is that you can also make a command speakable. That means... You can create a, a, a speakable command to quickly add to it. And now you can do this in Automate as well, but this is a, um, a, a faster way to do it. So right, what it has here, it says, make this speakable or create command, or you can say define keyboard command. So let me give you an example of how that works. Let's enable it. Make this speakable. All right, so you see what it does? It opens up the dictation command uh, window, and it inserted this uh, URL, Mac Automation Tips, right? So inserted that, and you can have it um, have this command work in any from from within any application, or for, say from within Safari, for example. And um, then you, what you would do is you would type your command. So go to Mac uh, Automation Tips. All right. Click Save. All right. And let's give it a try. Let's uh, close this out. Go to Mac Automation Tips. There you go. And this is really great because that means you can make voice commands for all your, say, your popular, most used uh, websites that you go to. And you don't have to stop and use the bookmark thing. You can just give it a, a voice command and you're good to go. So let's go here. And basically what happens is, is you see that at the top, you scroll up, 
these are all the user commands that you created. I've created a few in the past, but I, again, I don't really use the the uh, Apple uh, command system, but I've, I've done it in the past just to kind of see it, kind of playing around with it. And uh, so you can, so you see the one that I created is this right here. All right. And um, I think I created, yeah, I created one for um, uh, pausing iTunes. You can, so, so for example, if you are, um, you have iTunes playing and you don't want to stop and go to iTunes, you can have this command say stop playing and it will do that from within any application. All right. So again, when you bring it up, let's just bring up, uh, let's see, let's just click on the finder here. Make this speakable. All right, so when you open this up, when you open this up, you see there's some other choices you can have. So open up, you can have it open up a URL, you can have it paste some text. So say you have some snippet text that you want to do, say you want to have your name in there, you know, you, you type your name and then the, the um, um, and when it says, when I say my name or what have you, um, you can say you can say like my name, and then say Kari Shivanu, and then you can click save. All right, and go over here, enable it. My name, and you see it did it right there. All right, so it also picked up what I was just saying. So anyway, you, that's how you do that. Let's bring it up again. All right, let me show you um, a quick way to create a command for a menu item. I use a lot of voice commands for activating menu items and applications. And uh, there's a feature in that for doing that here with Apple's a program as well. So to do that really quickly is that, like, say for example, I wanted to be able to add a bookmark, um, use a, create a voice command for adding the bookmark, which is not, I don't think it's there by default. So what you would do is say, go to bookmarks, add bookmark right here and then you say make this speakable make this speakable there you go took a little bit all right now so you see that it's that it's ready to go there and it's already set up for you it already has the uh, menu item uh, put in there for you it, it gives you a um, what to say or you can change that if you want you don't have to, but you can change that, um, and you can do it. You can do it from within any application, or you can do it from with uh, just within Safari. So we're gonna, you know, uh, select Safari and then click uh, Save. All right, and then let's uh, enable it. Add bookmarks. All right, so you see it just did that. So, you know, according to the voice command, it brought up the app bookmark uh, menu. It, it triggered that and you can add it to whatever folder you want. So you can you can add you can create this for a lot of the kind of, you know, commands or menu items that you use on a regular basis. But you don't want to have to stop and and do the uh, keyboard shortcut or go to the menu in the, 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 the menu bar, that kind of thing. You can just create a voice command to do it quickly. So that, you know, you, you get that that way as well. Another um, command that you can utilize with this is also, you can say show commands, and it will bring up these this box here. Let me see if that works for you. Show commands. Show commands. Show commands. There you go. So you have to make it say a couple of times uh, to do it, but, you know, it'll bring it up, and that way you can kind of preview which commands um, that exists there without having to open up um, the application uh, or system preferences. And you see there's a lot of stuff that it can do uh, that's already kind of, again, already installed in there. So just take a look at the, the applications you already use. It will, it will pretty much open any application that you, um, that you already have installed on your Mac. So you can say switch to, um, switch to um, activity monitor. Let's see if it works that way. Switch to activity monitor. Let's go out of this. Switch to activity monitor. All right. 
So you see it brought it up right there. Okay. So you, the, those these things are already installed for you. So you can you can actually open up applications uh, from within any application. So it's a really good program to use um, if you begin to see that you are using the the uh, Apple dictation program a lot. I would encourage you to get Dragon Dictate, uh, despite some of the problems it had with the 5.0 upgrade. I've been using it for years, and it, it's just I, I wouldn't want to use a Mac without it because it's just it's a huge time saver. And I work in, in my office throughout the day, uh, pretty much by myself, so I don't have a lot of distractions, that kind of thing. So I can use it for that way. But this also might be useful for um, on your on your um, laptop or what have you as well. So let me know what you think about uh, the program and how it's working for you. And I appreciate uh, you watching this. Thanks a lot.